So today, as you can tell from the title, I am headed to a cradle board workshop. Uh, I have three children already. I am done having children. I'm going with my mother who also has three children and is done with children. Um, we just, we had this opportunity to take a, a cradle board workshop and create some cradle boards. I wish this opportunity would have come a little sooner so that I could have actually used said cradle board. On, uh, with my own children, but here we are. You know, pretty nice, maybe hang it up or something and uh, decorate it more later on with some beadwork or something. And you know, maybe maybe uh, the world won't end and my kids will grow up to have kids and they can use the cradle board. You know, it'll be a very special cradle board. So yeah, I'm going to try and vlog it as much as I can. I um, brought a little, oh, stand to hold my phone, made some cornbread for the lunch because they asked participants to bring some food and um Hey, so I thought I'd just do a voiceover for this part. Um, I actually started recording quite a while before uh, what you're seeing right here and I just I had to start over because I put the wrong uh, leather strings <laughs> in certain spots so I had to take them out and then um, use the right ones and that took quite a bit of time and um, yeah I just didn't think that you would want to see that at all. So yeah, um, the workshop was very fun. The beginning of the day, or I should say the first half of the day was spent listening to stories and teachings by a few different instructors that we had. So the main instructor was, um, he was a Potawatomi man from Lower Michigan, but he married into a Navajo family. So he is actually living in New Mexico right now and that's where he had constructed the pieces for the cradle boards that he brought along with him so that we could put them together and um, basically they're blank canvases as well so that we can decorate them uh, later on and he brought a few family members with him as well and he talked about his experience being a father with cradle boards um, with I think he had like five children and then we had another instructor who is from the area just a few miles away there's a, a nearby res actually that's probably like I don't know a 30 minute drive from us so um, we're the same tribe of Indians we're all Ojibwe and this woman she came and gave us a lot of teachings about you know the shape of the cradle board and um, uh, why we do certain practices like with our placenta and um, other teachings and stories that I just I can't come up with right now on this freaking spot. <laughs> so one thing that I really liked um, that he said the main instructor was that you could think of the cradle board as like a modern day car seat. It was used for travel or if you um, went to other locations besides home, you know, typically if you brought your baby and the baby was still small and slept a lot, you would 
you would either hold the baby or you would leave your baby in the car seat while you were away and um, that's kind of the same thing with the cradle board it was used for travel you would um, put a strap on it and then put the strap over your forehead and that's how you would get around and um, then when you got to other locations like if you were um, gathering or just going somewhere else then you could sit the cradle board upright against a tree or something and then the baby would just hang out there and sleep so that little a loop that dowel looking loop it's usually like a flatter um, piece of wood but he said that he chose to use a dowel because it was easier to bend um, especially when you are making a high volume of cradle boards um, but anyway that loop is for dangling things for uh, you, your baby to look at and then we have those leather loops there and you just tie the baby in all bundled up and swaddled and baby loves it so like I said before he left these cradle boards as like blank canvases so that you can decorate them on your own later on with whatever you want you know you could um, just make like a, a basic general cradle board or you can add certain aspects of um, like your baby or your family or your clans or your colors whatever you want to do really and um, so I don't think I'm going to get around to decorating mine anytime soon because I am working on a really big project right now but what I think I want to do is wood burn some floral designs on the um, board and then on that dowel there I think I want to um, do either like a peyote stitch or like a wraparound beading um, on that dowel there so yeah I think that when I do get around to being able to finally decorate it I'll probably make a video of it and put it up on here what do you think Yo, I almost forgot to do an outro. <laughs> so that was super fun. Um, it, it, we went from about 10 in the morning, well, let's say more like 10.30, you know, you know how that goes. About until 3.30, we, um, we didn't do the actual cradle boards until the end, but most of the day was spent listening to teachings and stories and uh, lots of good stuff. And we had lunch. And then um, we got to the cradle board, so that was really fun. Um, we got a blanket to go with our cradle board, and uh, it was just so much fun. So I guess I'm just gonna have to spruce it up, use it as like decor right now. You hang it up in the house, and then um, loan it out in the future if I have a close loved one, like a friend or a family member that um, needs a cradle board. So yes, I hope that was entertaining or whatever you want it to be. I hope you like my little cradle board vlog and I'll see you.